subscribe to Emmanuel Tutorials and press the bell icon for notifications. Hello everyone, welcome back to Emmanuel Tutorials. Today we will be seeing a ramp signal example, how to sketch it from the equation that is given. This was asked by a student in the comments section. If you also have doubts related to electronics and telecommunication engineering or related to signals and systems or any other concept, you could mention them in the comments and I would try to upload a video for that, explaining that. Before going to the video, if you have not subscribed to Manual Tutorials yet, do subscribe and like and share this video with your friends in need. So let's start. Here, all the signals that are given are ramp signals. First, you know what is a ramp signal? It is a signal which is at 45 degree to the x and y axis to the time and amplitude axis and at each point in app time its amplitude is equal to the point in time. So if it is 0 the amplitude is 0 at t equal to 1 the amplitude is 1 at t equal to 2 the amplitude is 2 and so on. Now so the first signal that's given is a simple ramp. So let's draw that. It's a simple ramp. So at 1 it's 1, at 2 it's 2 and so on. Now next we have 2R of T minus 2. Now here we have, this is not a simple ramp. It is time shifted plus it has amplitude scaling. So first we'll draw the time shifted one. Time shifted one means it is going to get shifted to the right by 2 because it is delay it is a minus sign so we'll draw that so it's going to be the same signal just shifted to the right by 2 so what is going to happen at 2 the amplitude is 0 at 3 the amplitude is 1 at 4 the amplitude is 2 and so on now next, this is not only time shifted, it's also amplitude scale. So what we're going to do is just scale this signal with an amplitude of 2. So at 2, the amplitude is 0. The amplitude in the resultant signal will be 2 into 0, which is 0. At 3, the amplitude is 1. For the resultant signal, it will be 1 into 2, which is 2. So at 3, the amplitude is going to be at 4, the amplitude in this original signal is 2. So, but in the resultant signal will be 2 into 2 which is 4. So, it's going to get extended to 4. So, this is going to be the signal which we are going to use. Next, before going to the next signal, what we'll do is we'll perform this much of operation. What we are going to do is subtract second signal from first because there is a subtraction sign. We will do that. You can also draw this signal first and then do the operations. This way you might find it easier. Let's draw the points. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. R of t minus 2, R of t minus 4 and this is minus 2 and this is R of t minus 2, 2 R of t minus 2. Now at 0, first signal's amplitude is 0, second signal's amplitude is 0, so resultant signal's amplitude is 0 minus 0 which is 0. At 1, first signal's amplitude is 1, second signal's amplitude is 0 so it's going to be 1 minus 1 which is 0 and in between those two points it's going to be the remain the same signal that is the first one because it's going to come as it is since all the amplitudes are 0 in between 
at two first signal's amplitude is two second signal's amplitude is zero so it's going to be two minus zero which is two at three first signal's amplitude is three second signal's amplitude is two so three minus two is one so uh, amplitude of the resultant signal is going to be one now to get the point in between what we can do is find out what will be the points in between we can just take a single point that is 0 0.5 2 0.5 and try to find out the signal then we will be able to draw complete this part so what will what will it be first signal's amplitude is 2.5 at 2.5 and second signal's amplitude is is 1 because at 2.5 it will be 1 because at 3 we have amplitude as 2 and at 2 we have amplitude as 0 so in between the point is going to be 1 right so what we can do is 2.5 sorry it's not here at this point somewhere in 2.5 first signal's amplitude is 2.5 second signal's amplitude is at this point is 1 so 2.5 minus 1 is going to be 1.5 and 1.5 is situated here. So we can just join these two points and these two points to get the result in, in the in the signal. Now at 4, first signal's amplitude is 4, second signal's amplitude is 4. As we have drawn here, so 4 minus 4 is 0. At 5, first signal's amplitude is 5, second signal's amplitude is going to be 6. And 5 minus 6 is minus 1. So what is going to happen is this signal is going to extend below to minus 1. At Six signals amplitude is six. Second signals amplitude is eight. So six minus eight is minus two. So at six, amplitude of the signal is minus two. And this is going to go on till infinity because the, the both the signals are just increasing in amplitude. They are not di uh, going narrow or going to back to zero anywhere. Now let's go to the next part of the signal that is r of t minus 4. So let's draw that. r of t minus 4 is delayed version of ramp signal by 4. So let's draw that below this. So our signal instead of starting at 1 will start at 4. At 4, amplitude is 0. At 5, amplitude is 1. At 6, amplitude is 2 and so on. Now what we have to do is add this signal to this signal. So this signal what we have got result in, we are going to add it to R of T minus 4. So you know from 0 to 4, amplitude of second signal is 0 and first signal's amplitude is increasing and decreasing. So when you add 0 to anything, it's going to be the anything value. So you can just draw the signal as it is below. Because before that, there is nothing. So it's a signal which is increasing to 2 and then decreasing to 4. Now at 4, at 5 the signal is going to change in value. So first signal's amplitude is minus 1, second signal's amplitude is 1. So 1 plus minus 1 is 0. So at 5 it's going to be 0. At 6, first signal's amplitude is minus 2, second signal's amplitude is plus 2. Minus 2 plus 2 is 0 again. So 6, again amplitude is 0. At 7, first signal's amplitude is minus 3, second signal's amplitude is plus 3. So, minus 3 plus 3 is 0. So, this is going to continue till infinity. All the uh, signal amplitudes are going to get 
negated and it's going to become 0 and only this part of the signal from 0 to 4 is going to remain. So this is the resultant signal for the equation that is given. That is R of t minus 2 R of t minus 2 plus R of t minus 4. This is the resultant signal or triangular signal. Hope you understood the way we have solved the example. If you have any doubts related to this video, any other videos or any other concepts in electronics and telecommunication engineering, you could mention them in the comment section of any of our videos and I would try to upload a video explaining that. If you found this video useful, do like it and share it with your friends who are in need and do not forget to subscribe to Emmanuel Tutorials for more. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to Emmanuel Tutorials and press the bell icon for notifications.